Hi, in this video we are going to talk about nucleotide excision repair system which is one type of DNA damage repair. Cell uses nucleotide excision repair to fix DNA regi regions which contains chemically modified bases and often that leads to a distortion in the DNA helix. So we are exposed to harmful radiation such as UV all the time and it can lead to damage in our DNA. Let me tell you how. Let's say there are two thymine bases which are adjacent to each other and this kind of UV radiation can lead to a production of thymine thymine dimer which is one kind of DNA lesion. And this kind of DNA lesion leads to a distortion in the DNA helix. And this distortion is detected by the nucleotide excision repair system, which further recruits components such as UVRA, UVRB, C and D to uh, repair this kind of distortion. Now, as the name suggests, UVRA, B and C, these kind of proteins can help our body to recover from a UV mediated DNA damage and in this video we are going to talk more about these proteins this component how exactly they function so stay tuned till the end of this video nucleotide excision repair system is highly conserved throughout the species from E. coli to human you would get these kind of repair system for simplicity we are going to look at the E. coli nucleotide excision repair system and then we are going to delve into details in human uh, nucleotide excision repair. So this process begins by detection of a distortion in the DNA helix and the key component that detects the DNA distortion is the UVRA proteins. Now once it detects the distortion it will recruit UVRB protein into the site of this lesion and this recruitment requires hydrolysis of ATP because this is quite a energy expensive process. After UVRB is recruited to the site of uh, the lesion there would be a bending of this DNA segment. After that UVRC gets recruited to this site of distortion. UVRC leads to a cleavage at a particular portion which is slightly away from the site of this uh, damage. Then UVRD which is kind of like a helicase it would be recruited to this site and it would chop off this particular segment of the DNA and ultimately there would be a gap which is generated after this process. DNA polymerase 1 can ultimately polymerize this 3' hydroxyl group and try to repair this gap and the last gap is actually repaired by a ligase enzyme. It is sealed by the ligase enzyme and thereby that now the DNA is repaired and the thymine thymine uh, dimer formation is excluded and thereby our repair system saves our DNA every day from these kind of damages. Now let us look at this process in eukaryotes or especially in human. Obviously we can imagine human is way more complicated than uh, E. coli so this particular process would involve many more proteins. Indeed this process involves about 25 to 30 proteins but they have similarities in terms of the mechanism and there are, they have counterparts with E. coli. Let's try to understand that. So the principle is similar. The DNA distortion has to be detected by some kind of detection mechanism and that is XPC. By the way this XP stands for Xenoderma pigmentosum and we'll come to it in a moment. So just like UVRA, XPC recognize the site of distortion. Then there is XPD and XPA which kind of creates a bubble around this site of distortion. And this bubble is held steady with the help of RPA proteins which are kind of single strand, strand binding proteins. Then away from this site of distortion, in the 5' end there would be 
uh, exo there would be a nuclease recruitment which is ERCC1 XPF. This nu this nuclease would cleave the five prime site, and the three prime site is actually cleaved by XPG. So what we can understand, the overall mechanism is very similar. For example, this e the this ERCC1 XPF and XPG is kind of similar to UVRC protein. But here in human, we can see there are many more components. And that is why the process is a bit more complicated in human. But overall, there is a similarity between these two uh, organisms. That means the recognition, the cleavage, and then the repair. Now, let me tell you one human disease is known as xenoderma pigmentosum, which is a very rare skin disorder where a person is highly sensitive to sunlight and spe especially the UV radiation and it can lead to cancer in these kind of patients and often it has been seen that the risk genes are XPA, XPC, XPD and all of these genes as I have mentioned earlier are the component of nucleotide excision repair system. In simple words, in these patients the nucleotide excision repair system is messed up that is why they are more susceptible to UV mediated damages which can lead to skin cancers. Now we understand that why nucleotide excision repair is super important from a clinical point of view. Now let me tell you that apart from being a DNA repair system, this particular uh, repair system is also transcription coupled. That means let's say a particular transcription process is going on and this RNA polymerase is moving in the gene body transcribing the RNA. But suddenly it experiences a thymine thymine dimer which has created a distortion. So obviously the RNA polymerase would be stalled. But luckily RNA polymerase is associated with, um, with this particular uh, DNA repair machinery. That means it can recruit one component of the RNA polymerase, more specifically TF, one component with the RNA uh, polymerase machinery, TF2H, is involved in transcriptional coupled repair. It can recruit all the players of nucleotide excision repair, which would repair this bulge and ultimately it would allow the, trans the, the RNA polymerase to move along and transcribing this particular gene. So now we understand how nucleotide excision repair is important. So let us get a quick summary. S cells use nucleotide excision repair to fix DNA regions which has modified bases or let's say a duct such as uh, thymine thymine dimer and this detection happens via distortion in the normal shape of the DNA. And this is a local distortion. Nucleotide excision repair is very well conserved from prokaryotes to eukaryotes. Mutation in XP family genes lead to defect in the nucleotide excision repair system, which is the base basis of uh, xenoderma pigment pigmentosum. And lastly, we saw that nucleotide excision repair is transcription coupled and it also allows a flexibility in terms of uh, gene transcription because gene transcription can, can't be stalled just because there is a, a lesion in the DNA. So it has to be repaired rapidly and it can lead to transcription in an um, unpaused manner. So overall, the notes of this particular topic will be available in my Facebook page, whose link is provided in the description. As usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support my channel in Patreon. I'm also present in Unacademy. You can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount. You can follow me on all the social media. I'm present uh, by this particular name and all the links are provided in the description. So please get connected and let me know in the comment whether it is useful or not. Thank you.